Welcome guys, welcome back to the this uh, video. Now today we are going to integrate uh, PayPal. Actually I've already done it. I'm going to show you the working code as well as I'm going to show you that uh, how you need to implement it. First of all you need to go into developers.paypal.com and need to log in. And then once you're logged in you can go to sandbox and accounts and you will have uh, two accounts here one is with the facilitator and uh, and another is buyer so the buyer account and these are the testing basically business as person now then once you have these accounts you can uh, click on them and in the profile you can change the password or detail if you need to change uh, because we, uh, you can change password from here uh, and uh, once you have that you can go to the sandbox site there is uh, for that you just need to go to sandbox.paypal.com and uh, you can see the balance for your because uh, if a buyer you are then you're going to have some kind of uh, amount in your account so you have it here that you can use uh, for your payments so on the other hand, once you have these two accounts ready, uh, on the same sandbox website, you can log in with this email and this email. If, uh, if you log in with the buyer's email, you will have some amount in there, the way I showed you here. And if you log in with facilitator, in that one, you will see that if you have any orders or not. This is just a demo uh, this kind of stuff. So once that is done, you need to go to my apps and here, you need to create an, a REST API. Uh, you just create here and it will ask for detail and uh, you ask for create API. I already have the app created here and it gives me the client ID and the secret. So we need this client ID for integration of PayPal. Now once you have the client ID so far and you reach this point, what we need to do I have this website where I'm working right now so I have this sample product right now with the price of one dollar and uh, here's the PayPal button so to include the PayPal button uh, this is basically the site made with Laravel and view and this is a view component which is powering this page so the cart view has a button which is uh, here now I'm going to show, um, because it is a lot of code going on here, it is going to be a little hard to understand. I'm going to leave a link in the description for the post, step by step, all the code given, so that you can get the idea out and integrate in your website. So this is the button, wherever you want to place it, you can place this. Then afterwards we have a code that we need to work with, which is here, paypal.button. So here we have a function, create order. That creates the order we are getting the amount here uh, using attribute amount to data so if I go on top amount data is here as it's a view component so that we are using the same um, procedures so this is the final amount uh, we have that we are sending in our code so this amount I'm passing in this so this is an action sort of create and its amount we can pass so many parameters here inside this purchase units. Uh, let me see if I have that page open. Yeah, you can see here. We can then pass currency, details of subtotal, shipping, tax, total amount, pay, who is paying, email, if you have the user logged in, items, details. Uh, you can do that uh, if you want to extend it. So far, I just have amount here. I will be extending it, but uh, for this uh, video sake, I just want it simple. So purchase units, I have amount value here, and then we have one approval. And this function is going to our backend. So in Laravel, we define we define routes. So this is the route that we I defined here. PayPal purchase complete, and if I go to here, I have a controller and a method of on this route. You can see that PayPal purchase complete. Now in this method, we have. Uh, uh, we're getting the data by request all and here if we go to uh, we have passed the details 
and these details are providing all the data we are also using CSRF code here so you can match the code this the code is also given on the PayPal website so you need to check there as well now once we have this data in PayPal controller I am outputting it so I'm going to show you the working version of it how it's working so right now if I refresh the page we have PayPal button here and I click on that so I'm already logged in into my sandbox account you can see the sandbox.paypal.com this is the link it is following right now and it's a server side procedure we are following so we get a link uh, alert transaction complete I click OK and uh, afterwards we get a complete at the bottom here I click on that and we get all the details for our user and order or we get order ID we get the time of order status of order uh, payers detail like email address and payer ID now this all is coming to our controller this is the printer which is working now from here we can store it into our database and uh, from the cart view here we can redirect user I already have a code of here present to redirecting it to a thank you page and similarly you can play with the code as well so this way that we have our server involved and that server is storing the data into database hope you like uh, the video the way I explained if some problem or something is not clear do leave a comment do like the video and subscribe and do check the post for step-by-step -step, uh, written explanation I have included a link in the description have a nice day thank you very much and do subscribe to the channel thank you bye